Hi guys, today we begin the topic plastics. Today we will talk about plastic materials, what they are, the origin of plastics and the classification by internal structure. So what are plastic materials? They are very, very common. Plastic materials are a normal part of our everyday life. They play important role in sectors such as packaging. Think about, for example, the joggers, um, uh, the containers for food, um, bottles, uh, glasses, plastic glasses, in telecommunication, in transport, in construction, and etc. So they are very, very important in our life. What is a plastic? Plastics consists of a long chain of molecules, so largas cadenas de moléculas, mostly made of the element carbon and hydrogen. This is a chain of molecules. These chains or macromolecules are called polymers. So this is another name for plastic. Polímero es otro nombre para los plásticos. The origin of plastics. Depending on the origin of plastics, we can divide the plastics into two different types. Natural plastics and synthetic plastic. Natural pl plastics are obtained directly from vegetable or animal sources, for example, latex. This is latex from the bark of some trees. Cellulose are produced by plants, latex and cellulose. And casein, for example, is a protein that is found in milk. And synthetic plastic that are made with compounds that come from petroleum, natural gas, and carbon. Nowadays, most plastics that we use are synthetic. And now let's see different types of plastics depending on the internal structure. First type, thermoplastics. Thermoplastics are composed of polymer chains that are weakly connected to each other. This is a very important property. Las cadenas de polímeros están débilmente conectadas. They soften and can be molded into different shapes. And the materials keep this new shape after they cool down. Let's see the process. When heat is applied, the attraction forces are weakened and molecules can be separated. Let's see. So we apply heat and the forces are weakened. Molecules change their relative position if pressure is applied. So when we apply pressure, the molecules change their relative position. So the mold give its shape to the plastic. And what is re really important about this type of plastic? This softening and hardening process can be repeated several times. So, podemos aplicar calor y volver a conformar un nuevo producto siempre que apliquemos calor. Calentamos, tenemos un molde, enfriamos. Volvemos a calentar, volvemos a poder a conf conformar. Es decir, este tipo de plástico se puede reciclar cuantas veces queramos. Second type of plastic. Thermosetting plastics are composed of polymer chains that are strongly connected. Así que las cadenas de polímeros aquí están muy fuertemente conectadas. They can be heated and molded and they maintain the shape after they cool down but only once. They can only be heated and shaped once. 
let's see the process. When heat is applied, this is at molecular scale, and you see the chains strongly connected one to the another. The polymer is softened and can be molded, the same as the plastic before. At molecular scale, an irreversible chemical process takes place, making the plastic rigid. So the process only can be done once. If heat is, is applied again, if we heat the plastic again, the plastic doesn't soften again. And overheating degrades the plastic. That's the main difference between thermosetting and thermoplastic. This is what happens at molecular scale in the chains when we overheat again after the first process. The last type of plastics are elastomers. Um, the first and the main property of the of there is that they are gray they have great elasticity so they can deform when effort is applied to them and then recover their shape but they are very strong and also durable this is internally the composition of this type of plastics they are composed of polymer chains that are laterally connected and can be folded or rolled into a ball like a string. When we apply force to elastomers, can you see what happens inside? They stretch because the polymer chains are very elastic. Also, these plastics are very hard and have good adherence. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Uh, see you tomorrow in class.